Hi, this is your teacher Barbara Rademacher and we're going to talk about inverses. Inverses are extremely important because they let you undo what you've done. Don't you wish life was like that? But multiplication will undo division. Division will undo multiplication. Addition and subtraction undo each other. So we're going to talk about how an inverse becomes an inverse. One of the main ways an inverse becomes an inverse is the point, the um, x and y coordinates of points are reversed. Alright, so I am going to write the points that make up this relation. So I'll choose a point tool and I'll say that the first point is 5 comma 3 and then make a comma after the point, the ordered pair, make another ordered pair. I'll take the point 1, 7 and reverse. I'll say 7, 1 and then a comma to separate the points and then I'll use the point tool and here we have negative 2, negative 4, so I'll say negative, oh, that's, that's not a negative. All right, well, we'll get rid of that one. There now. We're going to start again. There. Negative 4, negative 2, and then comma. And <clears throat> one more point, 5, negative 5, I'll switch the x and the y coordinates and I'll have negative 5, 5. Let's see if that's right. Oh, love it when it says fantastic. All right, let's move along. Th there is an easy test for a uh, a one-to-one -one function. A one-to-one -one function is guaranteed to have an inverse function that will undo it. Okay, so you have to decide is a function a function and is a function one-to-one. -one? That is uh, f of 3 equals 5, f of 2 equals 1. You know that each x-coordinate is going to have a different y-coordinate. So um, here we go. There is something called the horizontal line test and I am going to enter uh, f of x equals 3x to the third plus 8 into the calculator. We're going to look at it and talk about the horizontal line test. So I'll turn this on. Go to y equals 3x to the third, right arrow, plus 8. And I'm going to graph. All right, there is 3x to the third plus 8. Now, you can tell perhaps that if you draw a vertical line through it, uh, that vertical line will intersect the graph at, graph at only one point. So this is definitely a function. But now I want you to imagine a horizontal line. In fact, I'm going to make one. I'm going to go down to y2 and I'm going to make y equals 5 just so I'll have a horizontal line. There's a horizontal line. That horizontal line intersects the graph at only one point. This graph, x to the, uh, 3x to the third plus 8, passes the horizontal line test. It is one to one. So I'm going to answer yes. It's one to one. Excellent. And I'm going to go on. All right, here we have x squared minus x to the sixth. I'm going to graph that. Okay, and let's go down and clear that as well. I'm going to go back up. All right, I'll have x squared minus x caret six. 
graph. Now let's choose a horizontal line. How about y equals negative 5? So I'll go down to y2 and I'll say negative 5. I'm just trying to find a convenient horizontal line. Ah, see that horizontal line? It intersects the graph at more than one point. Therefore, while this is a function and you can imagine a vertical line going through it and only intersecting the graph at one point. The fact is that a horizontal line uh, intersects the graph at two points. Therefore, this function is not one to one. Therefore, it does not have an inverse, not an inverse function. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I didn't answer, did I? Okay, is this function one-to-one? -one? No. Now I'll check my answer. Very well done. Okay, four. Here we have the absolute value of x plus two. Let's graph it and see what it looks like. So I'm going to clear, and I'm going to clear, go back up to y1. Now, watch me, I'm going to say math, and then right arrow, and there's abs. Notice I have to come over to where num is highlighted, number. And then I choose one, abs. All right, absolute value of what? x plus 2. And I'm going to, I, I felt like moving it over. All right, I'm going to graph. There we go. Is that going to pass a horizontal line test? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's make one. Let's make x equals up, uh, y equals 4. That's a horizontal line. I'll go down to y2, and you could just as easily choose 2, 3, 4, or just imagine. Graph. There we have a horizontal line and it intersects this graph at more than one point. Therefore, while this is definitely a function, it is not a one-to-one -one function. So it doesn't have an inverse, not an inverse function. So I'll say no. And check answer. All right. Now I'll go to five. Now determine whether this function is one to one. That's a horizontal line. So let's go to y equals and clear, and then down and clear and back up. And I'm graphing negative, oh, it's not a horizontal line, negative three divided by x. I thought that was negative three fifths. It's not, it's negative three over x. So now what? I'm going to graph it. Okay, this is a function. It can be hard to tell with these, but take my word for it. Um, does it pass the horizontal line test? Let's see. I'm going to choose two horizontal lines, one up here, one down here. So I'll go to y2 and put in y equals 4. And let's look. That horizontal line intersects the graph at one point. Now let's try y equals negative 4. That horizontal line intersects the graph at one point. Now, even though it looks like this becomes horizontal, it doesn't. It's constantly tilting closer and closer to the x-axis. This is constantly tilting closer and closer to the x-axis. So actually, horizontal lines will only intersect every point on the graph only once. 
Therefore, this is a one-to-one -one function, which means it does have a function. Um, uh, it does have a function that is uh, an inverse, an inverse that is a function. All right, so I'm going to say yes. Moment of truth. And now six. For the function h of x equals three fourths, determine whether the function is one to one. This is a horizontal line for sure. I'm going to y equals, I'm going to clear, down, clear, down, clear, and then back up to y1, and I'm going to say 3 divided by 4 and graph. Let's make this easier to see by changing my window. I think I'll change to y min equals negative 5 and y max equals positive 5. And now I'm going to graph again. Easier to see. This is definitely a function. If you could imagine drawing a vertical line through this graph, each vertical line would touch the graph of y equals 3 fourths at only one point. However, can you imagine drawing a horizontal line through a horizontal line. They would intersect at infinitely many points, which is more than one. Therefore, this is a function, but it is not a one-to-one -one function, so it doesn't have a function inverse. There we go. Talk to you later.